decided to make an experiment by creating a welcoming learning environment. Coach Morales is committed to No Place for Hate to keep the joy alive in you. My name is Mr. Flores and I'm committed to No Hate, No Place for Hate. The school should be a positive learning experience for all. I'm Mr. Morales, I'm committed to No Place for Hate by making sure all my students feel comfortable being themselves. So I'm excited to see so I think uh, No Place for Hate is um, a space where students feel safe, where they feel comfortable to themselves, they don't feel judged, and they feel like they, they can be themselves, you know, um, and like embrace themselves. No Place for Hate to me means a uh, safe learning environment in the classroom. Everyone feels good. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm Mr. Strada. How do we enforce no place for hate? We demand respect. We expect respect. And we encourage respect in my class. Thank you. No place for hate to me means an environment where adults and scholars alike feel comfortable and we're genuinely happy to be here. Um, and the way we enforce that we're trying to make sure it's in place is by holding everyone accountable, making sure that people realize that it's actually best and that it's in our best interest <laughs> to be kind to them. Hello, no place for hate for me is everybody feeling inclusive and everybody knowing each other's value. All right. Hi everyone, no place for hate is a safe space for all students and adults as well. For me, no place for hate is a place where you can be yourself, free of discrimination, and who you are. No place for hate means providing a safe space for scholars where they are free to be themselves, who they are, and without judgment, and loved for whatever they have to bring into this world. I think that people should be careful with how they joke because um, it, it starts off with a joke um, and then it goes too far or maybe it's a daily joke and it's funny once or twice and then on the third day someone actually means it or takes it in a certain way and um, then it turns into hate. Um, I think a no place for hate school involves people feeling the, or people having the ability to be themselves, people having the ability to speak their mind creating a culture where people can express themselves in a place where they're not going to feel shut down or like they have to be put in a box. So that's what it means to me. I think that a place with no hate would be giving license to all our students to be the best version of themselves possible without hurting anybody else in the process. I think a no place for hate for me is everybody celebrating one another um, from a small achievement to a big achievement, um, constantly praising one another because this is the only chance that you guys are going to get to have um, hanging out with the same people for four years and after that you might not see them. So I think this is a great time for all of us to um, create a family experience where we're constantly praising one another. <laughs> the way that I feel that it should look at this school is just a uh, full on respect between peers, uh, student to peers, um, just all staff, um, continuous respect in and outside of the classroom. As long as we're here as, like, together as a community, um, I hope that everyone can just be respectful with each other. Place for No Hate School is a school in which we all love and care for each other. We are kind to each other. We all care for each other. We support each other. And we're a big family. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Hey Jaguars, my name is Estella and today I'll be presenting you the first tech tip of the year. Have you ever been given a long document where you had to answer questions, but you had to endure the suffering of rereading and more rereading? What if I were to tell you that there is an easy solution to this age-old pro age problem? By using Control F, you are able to search up words in a document and as you type your word, your document or web page will highlight all the instances of the term and see how many times it is used. For example, I will use Control F and type in woman, and you'll see that it will show up 46 times. By using Control F, you can save your time and make finding information way quicker. Try it out next time that you have a longer document.